Hello, my name is Keaton Adams. I am an advisory data engineer with Pivotal. This video will cover the topic of migrating a Greenplum 4.3 database to the new 5.0 release. It will specifically address the changes that need to be accounted for by database administrators, application developers, and users of the system, as core features and functionality have been modified and improved upon in this latest version of Greenplum. The first significant change is in the default optimizer used to optimize the SQL statement. GP Orca is initially called to optimize a query for execution. In a small number of SQL use cases, GP Orca will pass the optimization request off to the legacy query optimizer, still available in Greenplum 5. Why the change? GP Orca is the latest generation query optimizer, capable of handling a wide range of complex queries with concurrent mixed workloads and improved query performance. As this diagram illustrates, when a query is submitted to Greenplum, GP Orca is first used to optimize the SQL, passing only certain statements to the legacy optimizer as needed. Running the show optimizer command in a psql session confirms that GP Orca is enabled by default. In Greenplum 5, it is still possible, if necessary, to change the optimizer configuration parameter to off at the session level, for a logical database, or for the entire Greenplum instance, so that the legacy query optimizer is used instead of GP Orca. Using GP Orca as the default query optimizer in Greenplum 5 is the recommended configuration. The handling of the backslash character in string literals has changed. In the latest release of Greenplum, Backslashes that appear in string literals are now interpreted as literal backslashes, instead of escape characters like they were in 4.3. This change was made to better conform to the current SQL standard, as the Greenplum codebase was merged forward with Postgres 8.3. To include a backslash escape sequence in a string, use the standardized escape string syntax as shown here. For backward compatibility, it is possible to set the configuration parameter standard conforming strings to off, which will allow Greenplum to once again treat backslashes in string literals as escape characters. In the example on the left, with Greenplum 5, when a string that contains a backslash character is submitted for processing, by default it is processed as a literal backslash value. To use the backslash as an indicator of an escape string sequence, Include the standard escape string syntax in the SQL statement as shown. In the example on the right, if the standard conforming strings parameter is set to off, Greenplum 5 will revert to legacy functionality, but will return a warning indicating a non-standard use of the backslash escape in a string literal. The functionality of implicit casting between the text data type and time or numerical data types has been modified. SQL commands and user-defined functions that depend on implicit casts between text and non-text data types may no longer work as expected. Application code, SQL scripts, and the like may need to be modified to use explicit casts between these types. This functionality has been modified to match Postgres 8.3 behavior. Postgres 8.3 and above limits implicit casts between text and non-text data types to minimize unexpected results. In this example, a table is created with numeric values, but in the table definition, the MyID column is created as type text. The first select statement fails because the text column and the integer value of 3 are no longer automatically compared, as they were in the 4.3 version of Greenplum. Instead, an error is returned to the user or application that attempted to execute the SQL statement. To correct this issue, Instead of relying on implicit type conversion, the value of 3 would be quoted as its character representation. Alternatively, the MyID column could be cast to an integer for the equality expression to work without returning an error. In Greenplum 5, a change has been made to the create external table syntax. Greenplum no longer supports using the into error table clause in the create external table and copy log error statements. SQL commands associated with the examination or manipulation of error tables have been removed as well. For Greenplum 5 compatibility, 
Remove the into error table clause from any ETL jobs or related SQL scripts that use the deprecated error table feature. Why the change? Logging to error tables was not ACID safe, which, in some circumstances, caused unpredictable results and stability issues with the database. In this example, the create external table retains the 4.3 feature of a user-defined external error log table. This feature is no longer supported. Use the log errors clause to record data load errors into the internal table format still available in Greenplum. Then use the GP read error log and GP truncate error log functions to review and maintain the record entries in the associated internal error table. A significant internal change from Greenplum 4.3 to version 5 is the update to the storage model of certain data types. The on-disk representation of the numeric data type has been modified. This change affects the size of the existing data on disk. In addition, the money data type has changed from 32-bit to 64-bit. This modification also impacts the on-disk size of existing data. As Greenplum 4.3 was merged with the Postgres 8.3 code base, the numeric data type was changed to hold values in a more optimized, binary compatible, compact format, while the modification from 32 to 64 bit greatly increases the range of supported money values. The change to the structures on disk for these data types means that all existing data in a Greenplum 4.3 database will need to be exported and reloaded into a new Greenplum 5 database. All table data in the database can be migrated through a backup and restore operation by using GP transfer or a similar export import process to move the data from one Greenplum instance to another. To learn more about Greenplum database migration support services offered by Pivotal, reach out to your sales or data engineering team representative. Changes have been made to the system catalog in Greenplum 5. Many of the system tables and views have been updated in this release. Existing administrator queries that access system catalog information may require adjustments due to these changes in the system catalog tables and views. As an example, the pgproc table has new additional columns, with the related get AO compression ratio now defined as a strict function. This is a result of upgrading the version of Postgres to 8.3, while incorporating many new features and product defect fixes that required catalog changes. In this example, on the left is the updated table definition for the system catalog table pgproc. On the right is the older table definition in Greenplum 4.3. Pivotal Greenplum 5 brings with it a number of new features and enhancements that extends the core functionality of the analytical platform, which do not require changes or modifications to existing applications or SQL code. These include the following. For queries against partition tables, the legacy query optimizer has improved the method of partition selection. The analyze command uses the faster Postgres implementation to gather table statistics, improving its performance for both heap and append optimized tables. The Amazon S3 protocol now supports S3 server-side encryption using Amazon S3 managed keys for both readable and writable external tables. Now database owners, instead of only super users, can create trusted languages. For full details of the new Greenplum 5.0 release, visit the sites listed below. To review the complete list of product changes, feature enhancements, and new functionality from Greenplum 4.3 to Greenplum 5, please review the release notes available at gpdb.docs.pivotal.io. Thank you.